If your deck's no good, no need to fret, just call on Dr. Internet. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Dr. Internet. Uh, I'm Administrator Plastic Cactus, and we have a lot... Oi, shut your mouth, PC. This is my hospital now. Oh, and who might you be besides the Duke of Rudeness? Aluminium Snapdragon, you post-streaked pajama mite. Aluminum Snapdragon? I thought you died in the Great Pottery Ghost Uprising of 07. Ha! It'd take more than that to do me in. But unless you want your jennies ground up into taper meat, you best step aside. I'm taking over. <laughs> you and what army? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. What? Pottery ghosts? You fiend. <laughs> now get lost. No! All right, Dr. Internet, you're in my world now. And this ship's gonna sail a good deal smoother now that I'm at the helm. No more jokes and songs. No more nonsense. We're just gonna tally up the votes and move on. PC asked you to come up with ten creatures below four converted mana cost to stick in this sorry excuse for a deck. Hmph. <laughs> Seems like a dumb thing to ask for, but whatever, I'll play along. Number ten is Polycranos. Stupid choice. Number nine, Yevamaya Elder. What are you guys, retarded? Number eight and seven were toys. Plastic Cactus wanted the tide to break one way, but to hell with him. I'm doing it opposite. Eight is Wolfen Wolf Tracker. Seven is Daroga. You don't like it? I'll punch your tit, you slippery fuck wizard. Number six is something called Scavenger News. Sounds tiresome. Number five is barely even a creature. Corsair of Crofix. Lime. Number four, that's Master of the Hunt. Now I know you guys are retarded. Number three, that's Dungrove Elder. Hmm, that actually sounds pretty good. For a blind person. Number two is Reclamation Sage. Might as well have picked a giant turd. And the number one choice, by you, the world's most unqualified doctor is Oracle of Moldaya. Or as I call her, worst card ever printed. Don't like it? Tell it to the pottery ghosts. Okay, here's all the creatures so far, including the four career losers you picked in previous weeks. Pathetic. I have half a mind to call your dad and let him know what a lousy shit weevil he has for a kid. Oh, and I guess these are the updated parameters. Hmph. Since PC is hightailed it out of here, I get to pick the next topic then. <laughs> Enjoy doing mana ramp. It's all you deserve. You probably are used to the way old prickly pants does things, but I'm doing it differently, see? We need ten mana ramp, do we? Well... Each of you can only pick three. Yeah, just three. Oh, I know it'll kill you inside, but that's all. Leave one of three suggestions in the comments. Like comments that showcase the garbage you'd like to see in this deck. Mana ramp ain't just artifacts, neither. It can be anything that gets mana faster, be it creature, enchantment, spell, or your mother's rotten bowels. Oh, what? You didn't like that? Oh, man, I'm sorry. Not. Pottery ghost means I never have to say sorry. On Tuesday, November 4th, I'll look at what you idiots picked. Then, the next day, I'll let you all know what I found. Or maybe, I'll just throw it all away and pick actual good cards by myself. Well, no good. Hurt your feelings, will it? Well, who's got the pottery ghost mother of Not so fast, aluminum snapdragon. Plastic cactus? I thought you had for the hills. I should have had my spirits rip out your intestines and play a game of giggly jump rope with them. No matter. 
It ain't too late. Think again, fiend. I brought friends this time. What the? Me ghosts! Oh, you win this round, you sniveling fruit sucker. But I'll be back. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. That guy's a right cock. But it's too late to change things for this week, so have fun choosing Manoramp, I guess, and I'll see you next week.